What up, YouTube? It's Misery. It's company. In this video, I want to do an updated best farm routes for Diablo Immortal because it's been a little bit of time since I've done one of these videos, and in in now more so than ever is always a good time to be grinding in Diablo Immortal because you can fall desperately behind. But let's get into the best farm spots updated for 2023 as of february so let's get straight to it so first things first is the planes of torment in the realm of damnation this would not be a best farm video without showing this location it is still without a doubt the best farming location within diablo mortal in my personal opinion when you are with a full group of four people um, and also be generous when you go to one of these farm locations if you're not in a group make sure you invite other people to your group and merge groups as much as possible the whole idea of farming is that you can easily be interrupted if somebody isn't in your group and we're going to get to that to the very end so make sure you watch this video to the very end because i'm actually going to give you a tip that will help with that and some of you aren't doing that but again number one is planes of torment if you're not familiar with the route you go ahead and load in um, at this uh, last vestige uh, waypoint and you do the route right here so you go right in between hug the perimeter, go around this, and you literally just basically hug the outside. Um, I've seen a couple different routes, but this is the exact route that I take. Again, just sort of, you basically split these uh, trifecta of rocks in half, and then outside of that, you just keep going around. That is by far number one, and I am showing it for a reason first. The next one is going to be um, Biofin, more specifically Ship Farm. Um, when we talk about Ship Farm, so there is a mob that spawns here in the bottom, one on the corner, one on top, and then there's two mobs that spawn in here. There's a little Captain's Den in this little spot that, well, I guess the Captain's Den's up here, but there's a little build it, a room over here that spawns, spawns the other mob. If you are spawning by yourself, you can very easily easily and i mean super 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 easily continue your kill streaks by doing the following rotation so you kill this uh you kill this mob on the bottom go up uh, down up over down and then a back across so you basically do this circle so it's boom 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 and then keep doing that circle and i have done it on my wizard very very easily obviously you need a little bit of mobility to get between mobs but if you're killing them um, quickly enough you will definitely make it by the time you go all the way around and you're skipping this bottom mob obviously if you do have a full group here it's so much better but this one is probably my favorite when i am farming by myself so i do want to go ahead and put this as number two again this is in biofin and this is a ship farm that so many people have been using up until this point now um, let's go on to number three so uh, number three is actually in Storm Point for me. And this is one that I don't know if I covered it in my previous video, but it's one that is, I feel like, incredibly underutilized because I never, ever get a full group here. In, in fact, 90% of the time I go to this location, I am farming by myself. And I was actually hesitant on putting it in this um, best spots because I didn't want people to take it from me. But it is over here in the ship graveyard. Um, so there's a couple different routes here. The one that I do the most is you spawn in at ship graveyard waypoint. Come on down here. Uh, you go around here and then your route is literally just like this go around this rock split these three rocks in the middle there's a mob here hit that one go around come back through capture this mob and then rotate down and then so you literally do just, just do this route and then if you're by if you are by yourself which I, like i said does happen um probably 90 percent of the time is the case um, multitasking here with a couple of different games but um it, you could also do the route somewhat uh, skip this rock these two packs and then just hit this and that will keep your, some of your um, kill streaks going when you're by yourself it's a little bit longer um, and some of the mobs are like going to ground and like burrow so it does take a little bit longer so i will notate that as well but this is a, still a very very good spot that i do use very frequently um, another good spot if you're by yourself and you're kind of like afk ish farming and when i say afk ish farming you're not obviously spooning or like putting your phone on you know spoon on the phone or anything crazy like that that got people banned you're just not focused on the game um you there are several mobs that spawn in this massive boat so you could also do that and then if you want to just kind of like take a break from this road route you can easily go around this big route and there's several mobs there as well and same thing with this over here but again that's my normal route in this ship graveyard area all right let's go ahead and continue to number four Okay, so number four on this list is actually going to be in Mount Zatan. Um, it's actually very, very good. So you want to load over here to the cemetery. And then it's literally just this route right here. I did cover this one in my other video. It's not as good as some of the other ones I mentioned, which is one through three. But it's definitely worth number four because um, it's good either by yourself or within a group. So the mob spawn in basically all the corners. One here, one here, one here, one here. Some gargoyles in the middle that are kind of random. There is a mob right here in the middle that spawns just on top of the stairs, which is very good. And then again, one in each of these four corners. Um, there's a large boss that spawns in the middle so if you don't want to deal with it don't um, just don't summon it 
But again, um, so the, what I would recommend for this is you basically just do it like a clock as much as possible. And then if you ever get into a spot, if you don't have high mobility and you can, or I'm sorry, if you do have high mobility and you can avoid the, this mob right here on the top of staircase, do so until you start to lose your kill streaks. In which case you can pick them up and transition to the next spot. Again, just clockwise or counterclockwise will work best. But this is going to go ahead and be number four for me. Um, and this one is a doozy that, like I said, that has been here for a while that most people know about. But in case you don't, here it is. And then let's get into the juicy one, which is number five. So the fifth best farming spot in Diablo Mortal is actually going to be a dungeon. And it's one that I'm going to be doing a deeper test in because I actually think it's completely and utterly underutilized. And that is going to be the Forgotten Tower. The reason the Forgotten Tower is so good outside of it being boosted right now is that you do get so much loot from it, from the additional five chests that you basically would have to try to not complete in order to get all five of the chests at the end of it. If you haven't done this before, you're a newer player or returning to the game, you haven't done Forgotten Tower. Basically, you have little mini quests throughout the dungeon that are super easy. Basically, you just kill all the mobs. Basically, um, you can see it off to the left. And when you do so, you get five additional chests at the very end that give you additional gear, especially if you have Treasure Hunter active, because that does take effect within dungeons as well as overworld farming. And you get so, so, so much loot. In fact, I usually average, um, what is it? What are they called? I don't want to mess up the name. Uh, these, uh, the dust whatever they are the red dust so i usually get somewhere between two and four of these every dungeon run and the dungeons take less than five minutes to complete it's a super fast dungeon and then you usually get about 40 of the scrap material which is super super good for all things considered and it is a viable option and then because you also get the ability of farming whatever fabled wisp you're at for, for me it's uh seven but then you can also get normal drops um, when i say normal drops the normal um, set piece drops because obviously I don't have like any three piece set pieces except for this bottom one wherever it was the waste so I also actually use this as a good farming spot because it is guaranteed loot compared to someone being able to come over and interrupt your farm spot like I mentioned previously in the video when you do a dungeon like this where you are guaranteed loot no one can interrupt you you know exactly what to do everyone is working together and it can be done so so fast even if someone goes afk so you guys can really even like follow each other and take turns kind of taking a little mini break and you can fly through this dungeon i'm actually going to be working on a very very good uh build for the wizard when it comes to farming especially when it comes to dungeons but i'm also going to show you guys a farming build but in the meantime check out this video for the wizard right over here it is a the absolute best single target build and i've actually gone ahead and gone ahead and improved it since this video but go ahead and watch this video right now because it will absolutely shred in some of these dungeons especially when it comes to the bosses